three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors middleweight division. Will Drago Curry in the solid black and the smiling boy Naglis Kanisauskas in the red and black. Two tall guys here, both 6-3. Curry looking to start things off with a head kick. The Lithuanian fighter, though, riding his face from the off. Catches the kick there. Yeah. Puts Flurry on the mat. Flurry attacking the ankle. We, we know that the Will has submission skills and he's someone who we've actually seen go for. He's one of the few MMA fighters who will go for leg locks as if they're a grappler. And here it is. I mean, that heel hook is not a bad position. And here's a massive difference that we may see if we continue to see Will attack these leg locks like this. Straight in the side control now, really nicely done and secured this position. But if we see it later on, we find Will on his back again going for these leg locks. A huge difference between leg locks in grappling and leg locks in MMA is people will roll and continue the roll until they're off the mat in order to escape. You cannot do that in a cage. So if he gets a position where there's no other way to escape and he ends up rolling, it's very likely that he'll find himself stuck against the cage and then he can finish that leg lock. But right now, Will is in a great side control position, almost the middle of the cage here. So it's going to be very, very difficult for his opponent to try and get up and he's trying to get that arm high. When you're trying to get an arm high like that, you're looking for one of two things. You're either trying to clear space to take the mount position or what I was suspecting he was going to go for, which is to try and get that arm high enough to go for a head and arm choke. But both of these things, see that knee almost coming onto a knee on stomach position. He might look to pass the mount, or what I think he's going to do, tie up that arm in a head and arm choke. He's got to be careful. His opponent looking to try and invert a little bit and try and catch that head with the leg. But Will's going to be too smart to allow that to happen, I don't think. And, 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 and from this standard side control position, it's not a great way of defending. There we go. There's that mount attempt. And, I mean, really nicely done. Scramble, throwing up the legs for a triangle for a second there. Find himself in the triangle again, and Will just doing a great job of keeping the arms on the inside to stop his opponent from being able to isolate one on the outside and attack that triangle. And a real scramble here. Quite an impressively dexterous, open and flexible guard position from Naglas off his back. Yeah, Kenneth Auskas training out of the famed All-Stars gym in Sweden. Long-time oh, MMA arm, veteran. Armbar attack Raising yeah. my daddy in his corner. Yeah, referee stopped the uh, stopped the fight for a second there, and I mean that was pretty significant because he cut the angle for an armbar. I assume he was maybe turning him to keep his toes out of the fence. Yeah, he, so he, he hooked his toes through yeah. the fence to set the armbar up. So sure. obviously Mark Goddard resetting the minute in a somewhat neutral position there, and Curry looking to land some shots from the top now. Yeah, finding himself in side control again, a, a way worse side control position just because how close uh, Nagnus is to the fence and tying up that far side arm, and he's got him. I mean, almost in a crucifix position there, slips off and finds himself under side control once again and really going to try and use that fence to push himself off. And it's kind of difficult to, to use the fence without sticking your toes inside of it. But this long framing position we're seeing with the arms, I mean, the timing on that mount escape was, you know, the, the mount escape immediately as Will tried to get it was really, really nicely done. So he's got these long arms and he knows how to use them well. We've already seen him throw up triangles. We've seen him try and cut angles for an arm bar. This time deciding, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sick and tired of being on my back now. I'm going to try and get back to my feet. And Will just aggressively fighting for this takedown. Eating some strikes as uh, Naglas tries to sprawl on there and almost sitting backwards for a half guard position, continuing to try and fight this very, very high output takedown attempt here. And he's just desperately holding on to this leg. I mean, it's one of those things where if it pays off, it's kind of worth it. And if it doesn't pay off, it definitely isn't because it's going to be a lot of energy scrambling to finish this takedown. Yeah, some good takedown defense on display there from the Lithuanian fighter. Yeah, there's an arm, gu arm and guillotine here. I mean, the forearm looks quite nicely underneath the neck here. The arm and guillotine is harder to finish, but not impossible. And I mean, this position is, is good. It's not ideal, but as far as this submission goes, that is about as good as you can get. Forearm cleanly underneath the neck. You don't want to really, personally, I don't like the arm and guillotine. I don't like the closed guard guillotine, but if you're going to do it, it was about as good as it gets. We were able to slip out there. And now back into a, a, a strong position. But again, look at the dexterity of the legs. The guard retention here from Naglis is actually very impressive. A little bit of a, a 
kind of allowing Will to pass quite easily into a half guard, which is surprising consider how, considering how impressive he's been off his back. Maybe he knows that there's not long left on the clock and not really minding what happens for the last 10 seconds of this round. But very, very interesting first round there. Second round underway here. Oh, spinning back elbow attempt there from Curry. Nice high kick from Kenis Askus. Goes up again, goes up both sides. Landing punches in close here with an elbow. Really putting it on Will Curry here. Oh, spinning back elbow, nearly gave the back though. I mean, just unleashing here, and a kick on the inside of the leg puts him down, and he beckons him straight back to the feet. I'm not done with you yet, and you've got to wonder, you know, if Will's thinking about shooting a takedown, he might be thinking about it twice as much right now. I mean, Will definitely is looking a little bit more fatigued than we're used to seeing him, isn't he? He's quite slow and not particularly energetic and uh, an attempted throw here. <laughs> And they find themselves in this dogfight position. Will goes for a, that shoulder crush standing for a second. And I mean, Will's looking tight. He had a lot of shots there or was covering up and having the defender. I just want to correct the record as well quickly, Dan. So Will Curry is now also training out of All-Stars in Spain. So the All-Star Sweden guys have set up a gym in Spain. So we've got All-Stars versus All-Stars. Oh, Raisin really? Raisin Madani actually in the corner of Will Curry there. Very confusing for us oh, here wow. at Cape okay. Side. Oh, nice combination there from Kanisowskis. A nice elbow in close. Yeah, Will, Will's looking pretty hurt here, I think. This, this, the, the way that he's carrying himself is not how we're used to seeing him carry himself. A big knee to the torso there. and Another oh, spinning, spinning back, back elbow. Will, Will, Will is looking hurt. You know, we're, we're used to seeing these... I mean, a slow shot, but he manages to change level pretty nice and take the back. I mean, even as tired as he may be, he's able to take a top position, and it may just be that Naglas is equally as tired from just that barrage that he's been throwing during this round, and Will finds himself in a great side control position now, and this would be a great position to recompose himself a little bit, get on top of his opponent, land some small strikes, start to wear your opponent out. Well, both these guys are, have kept up a high pace and, yeah. you know, Curry especially carrying a lot of muscle on his frame. I, I, I really think it, well, we, we've seen Curry loads and loads of times on cage wires and we know the first round is where he's most dangerous, where he's going to really bring it and he's going to be an absolute nightmare. If you survive the first round because of the output, because of the energy, because of that muscle mass, he does start to fatigue a little bit as we get to second and third round. But right now he's in a great position He's got a lot of making up to do for the damage he's taken so far in this round, but he's not in a bad position to do it. If he can pass that right leg over into Mount, Nagler's looking to lock that off and try and stop him from doing so, but the half guard is a great position to strike from. We just know that those long limbs of Nagler's is great at creating space. An easy pass to side control here. We're not seeing the, the that, that guard retention that we saw from Nagler's in the first round. A little hip bump to try and create some space. He's going to try and turn into his opponent here. But look how Will Curry is controlling that far side, and he's almost got him in a crucifix position here. He might look to bring his left leg and actually bring it his shin over the forearm of Naglas's right arm there to try and create that crucifix position that can be so devastating. You see how he's trying to trap that arm on the near side of the legs. And he's got a long time to play with this position, over a minute. He, he was warned briefly by Mark Goddard there for, to target those shots away from the back of the head area. He's trying to cut him up with those elbows, nasty short elbows from here. And, Naglas not doing much in terms of hip bumps or trying to get those legs back on the inside, and it could just be that he's trying to compose himself a little bit. He's trying to allow Will to expend a bit more energy. But it, it, even if you're doing nothing, getting punched in the face, you see what I said? He might try, and, and, and he's actually taking advantage of that, and that is absolutely devastating, but then he reverses him, and now they're just fighting to see who can get the top position. I mean, that was pretty crazy. Reversal from that, that side control position in the side control, reverse back to side control now. 20 seconds, 
and we'll continue to try and see out the rest of this second round with some strikes, elbows to the torso, elbows to the head. He's thinking right now, if only we had knees to a downed opponent, I'll be having a lot of fun. Pride drills, baby. Bring them back. Don't bring them back. They were, they were, they were great. They were great for that time, but but don't bring them back. Will Curry finishes the round on top. I mean, a super interesting second round, really. Around. No rushing. You're up two new. Curry's called yeah, the sanction that up 2 nil in their estimation. I mean, uh, I'm not a judge, I don't know, but I wouldn't be 100% about that. And, and once again, look at Will, he's looking very fatigued straight away, and you know, Nagas has to be thinking the only way that Will's going to be able to escape this, this barrage of strikes is to change level, and he's going to be expecting it. They're not big power shots from the Lithuanian, but there's lots of them. Yeah, and there it is. There's the level change, and again, he just... I mean, Will just must be physically so strong because the way he drags his opponent to the ground and, and, and once again finds himself underneath side control. This time, four and a half minutes left on this round and indeed on this fight. And, I mean, a lot can happen from this position in that time. And Naglas is trying to use that fence to try and get an inversion there. He might try and do a similar reversal to what we saw Will do in that last round. But I think Will, uh, you know, not a bad strategy. We haven't seen a huge amount. In that first round, we saw quite some nice defensive work from Naglas off of his back. The second round, we barely saw any of it, apart from that almost reversal. So I think Will's thinking, if I can get side control here, I can just spend five minutes or four minutes now landing elbows here and just securing this fight. Let's see if Curry can get to work with these short elbows. And I wonder if he's tentative about the mount take here because, I mean, Naglas is, is, is so much lazier with the legs, those le you know, the hips, there was so much energy in them and so much desire to get back to a, to a guard position in that first round. We haven't seen it at all in the second round. He's very much trying to defend with the upper body. So at this point now, Will might be thinking, well, the opportunity to take them out might be there. Finally, we see a guard regain into quarter guard, into half guard. This is nice now, but it's not going to be enough. The half guard is not a position to stop in like you would in a grappling. In a grappling match, the half guard is a great position for the person on top to continue to strike you from. You've got to keep going from half guard, try and get back to a full guard, try and create some space, look to stand up. I mean, Nagus has got to be wanting to take this fight back to stand, and he's got to be working here to do it. He's got half. There it is. The final there, round it, there it is. You see oh, what I mean? Sweep don't, from Nagus. don't stop at half guard. Go back to a butterfly guard. Get those legs in front. Go for a sweep. Create space. Get back to the feet. That's exactly what he should have been doing last round. It's exactly what he should have done here. Again, Will trying to shoot that takedown, but Nagus is really. He does not want to find himself underneath Will Curry again. He knows how difficult it is to stand back up, but both of these guys. I mean, it looks like the fatigue of Nagus is caught up with the fatigue of Curry. Curry was just warned not to grab the shorts there. He's connected the hands for a, yep. an attempted And he's going to try and pick him up. That strength again. He can't quite get it, but he's in a great position. He might try and get round to the back. Almost most of his takedowns, we've seen him actually drag his man down from a similar to the back position or side position here. He tries to pass. And this is where Naglas needs to try and take advantage of this. He's got a knee shield half guard right now. Create space with that top leg. He's doing it. Get back to butterfly guard and now keep creating space. Try and get back to the feet. 90 seconds left on the clock here. An easy Kanisowskis to try and get out from under Will Curry. Yeah, an easy pass to half guard here. And look, these guys are absolutely exhausted. The pace of this fight has been so, so high. Both of these guys are completely spent, but you've got to put the investment in the energy of not allowing the person to pass to begin with the first, not allowing them to pass in the first place so you don't have to fight so hard to try and get them back. He goes for a, a very, very weak butterfly guard with a single butterfly, guard, uh, single butterfly hook and finds himself just essentially passing Will into his side control position. So a minute left in this fight, a minute left in this round, and Naglas off of his back, doing everything he can, long frame here, but, I mean, trying to escape from this position, but Will is just looking, he's looking tight, he's looking heavy from this top position. I, I have a feeling he, 
it's very likely that he'll be able to survive the, 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 the final 30 seconds in top position, maybe trying to land a few more strikes, but, I mean, a pure battle of attrition here. He's going to pass them out. He was thinking about it. You see how that, that forearm comes onto the hip that tries to create some space in the torso so he can pass over to Mount. He's thinking about it. He thinks, now nah, I'm just going to stay here. 15 seconds left. It's not worth, not worth the effort. The corner calling for him to launch a few elbows in to steal the round. And he obliges a few short shots there at the death from Will Curry. Wow. And that was a real slog of a three-rounder down. It really was. I mean, oh, that first round was, was was almost a fight in itself. And then those second two, the, the second round and third round, very, very similar. Sure. It was this. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Your judges' score is about 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27. If every war winner, by way of unanimous decision, in the red corner, Will Dragon Curry!